learning more now about the benefits of a Mediterranean diet. We're learning that now it may prevent dementia. Dr. Partha Nandy, our chief health editor, doctor, uh, joins us live, I should say. Hi, Dr. Nandy. What type of a re risk reduction are we talking about here? Hi, Joanne. This is great news. You know, following a healthy diet like the well-known Mediterranean diet, where the mind diet can do something exciting, have an impact on your mental health, lower your risk of dementia by a third. Now, researchers scrutinized the eating habits of nearly 6,000 Americans with an average age of 68. The people who stuck close to Mediterranean or the Mayan diet had a 30 to 35 percent lower risk of cognitive impairment, so pretty impressive. Wow, what do people eat on these two diets? It's funny you should ask. The Mediterranean <laughs> diet and the Mayan diet are not the same, but they have a lot of similarities. They focus both on plant-based cooking and include plenty of vegetables and fruits, whole grains, beans, and seeds. Now, if you'd like to try these healthy eating styles. Here are my prescriptions as I always have them. Number one, avoid butter and stick margarine and replace them with olive oil. We love it. It's a healthier fat. Also avoid refined sugar, salt, fried food, fast foods, and sweets. You know, a lot of kids are going to hate this, but <laughs> instead use spices or herbs to flavor foods. Once you get started, it, it can be easy. Also for protein, eat fish, chicken, eggs, and legumes as, like beans and lentils. Red meats can be added to Mediterranean dishes, but only in small portions for added flavor. And lastly, eat plenty of vegetables like kale, spinach, and broccoli. Aim for a variety of plant foods and have them make up the majority of your meals. So the chocolate cake isn't part of this, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right. Made of lentils. <laughs> this is just the, lar the latest study though, right? I know with the MIND diet, there's been other research about this showing the benefits, right? You're absolutely right, Joanne. So there's another study that followed over 7,000 women over 10 years. The average age was 71. And those who stuck closely to the MIND diet had a 34% lower risk of developing Alzheimer's. So you can do this, it's easy. My son does it, he eats lentils every day. Just have to try it. Yeah, at least put one of those foods in your diet each day, right? That's Start exactly there it. and see what you can uh, get up to. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much as always. Carolyn. Baby steps, Joanne. Baby <laughs> steps. We can all do it, right?